One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Greetings fellow LEGO fans, greetings fellow space fans, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the final episode of my Apollo 11 series Fly Me to the Moon. Oh, uh, yeah, in the last video we landed on the moon and yeah, today it's time to go back as they only had a few hours uh, of stay on the lunar surface. Um, we'll see how they got back home. But first, one more thing. Check out that cool shirt I made. If you want one too, get it at my Teespring store. Link is in the description below. Look at it. Especially for the anniversary of Apollo 11 mission. And of course, in Lego style. So, if you want such cool shirts, go to my Teespring store now. And again, like in the other videos, I will use uh, some snippets from Jared Ohm's awesome animations and also some other video snippets and yeah, I'll link everything in the description below. There's so much cool stuff to see on the net, it's just overwhelming. As our two astronauts have completed all their tasks, they get ready to get back on board of the LAM and prepare everything to go back home. So. Let's have a closer look at the LAM itself. It consists of two parts. The descent module, which brought us safely to the lunar surface uh, and will now be used as launch pad for the ascent module and stay on the moon. And the ascent stage uh, with its own propulsion system, which will lift our astronauts back into lunar orbit. Yeah, and don't forget about Michael Collins orbiting the moon inside the uh, CSM, uh, also preparing everything needed for uh, uh, rendezvous and docking. Now let's bring our astronauts safely back home. The ascent stage fires up for about seven and a half minutes and brings them into lunar orbit to meet up with Collins in the CSM. Yeah, and I found some nice footage from the start from the lunar surface of Apollo 17, the last mission uh, to land on the moon. So, enjoy it! 99, proceeded, 3, 2, 1, ignition. Run that way, Houston! That's your grid. Excellent. Now first you could see the shadow of the ascent module on the lunar surface and a bit later there comes the descent stage which is left behind into the view. Okay, 30 seconds. 308 your number. Okay, coming through 1500 feet and H dot looks good. During the next three and a half hours several engine burns happen uh, and it takes nearly two orbits before uh, the SN stage and the CSM can talk. And here you can see how the two are closing in on each other and get, uh, getting ready for docking. And as the two finally docked, Armstrong and Aldrin transferred all the goods into the command module and uh, after they all were back together uh, the ascent module was ditched and some of them uh, stayed in the orbit, some were crashed into the lunar surface, so the CSM is all we need to get back home. And to get back home, the CSM on the far side of the moon fires up for about two and a half minutes uh, to bring them on course to get back home, and that's called the trans-earth injection. So again, 
like a slingshot, it comes around the moon and heads directly towards Earth. The journey in this spacious capsule took them about uh, three days and the service module is just full of technical stuff uh, and things they need. You can't go in there, so the three of them were the whole time together in there. So, very cozy. And after reaching Earth orbit again, it's time to prepare for a re-entry. This means the service module is no longer needed and is detached, revealing the heat shield of the command module and now that's everything we're left with. Just a reminder. That's what we started with and that's what we're left with. Insane! The re-entry phase uh, is very dangerous as the uh, friction the ride through the atmosphere causes uh, produces a huge amount of heat and the heat shield has to protect the uh, command module for several minutes. And at a height of about 2 miles above the surface uh, the parachutes are deployed to slow them down and now our astronauts can simply enjoy the ride. <laughs> before the final highlight of each mission comes and that's Splashdown! Well, as a matter of fact, the waves had tipped the command module Columbia over and it took the airbags several minutes uh, to get it upright again. And as the capsule was upright again, Navy Frogman jumped from the helicopter uh, and mounted the flotation collar. So the capsule was stabilized and they could proceed with recovering the astronauts. There were two rafts deployed from the helicopter, uh, one close to the capsule and another one a bit further away to protect the frogmen in case of moon germs. And as all measures were taken to protect the outside world from possible moon contamination, the astronauts were handed isolation suits. And as soon as they had put their suits on, they could finally exit the capsule. And after the astronauts were decontaminated, they were picked up by a Navy helicopter one by one. And now Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins and Edwin Buzz Aldrin were back on Earth. The three heroes that started into space a few days ago to an unknown and unsure adventure are finally back on Earth. For the first few days they had of course go into quarantine. And one of the first persons to greet them back home was President Nixon. Neil, Buzz and Mike. I was thinking as, as, as you know as you came down and we knew it was a success and it had only been eight days, that this is the greatest week in the history of the world since the creation. Frank Borman says you're a little younger by reason of having going into space. Is that right? Do you feel that way, a little younger? We're a lot younger than Frank Borman. <laughs> yeah, our three friends and their trusty command module traveled 952,700 miles in eight days, three hours, and 19 minutes. And the splashdown was only 10 seconds behind a flight plan time and within one mile of its target point. Boom. Excellent. Yeah. And that's, 
the finish of my Fly Me to the Moon series uh, in celebration of the Apollo 11 mission and landing on the moon 50 years ago. Now, well, on the 24th, 50 years ago, uh, our heroes were safely back and yeah, that's some reason to celebrate. So, party on! <laughs> and I'm curious what the future will bring. Are we really going back to the moon? And when will we finally reach Mars? Questions over questions, my friends. Yeah, my friends, that's it. We built a rocket, we built a lander, and I tried to bring you some interesting information. Hope you all enjoyed it. Don't know what I will bring up next, so stay tuned and maybe subscribe. Even you could hit the bell button, but only if you want. And yeah, some nice t shirts are still available as far as I know. And yeah, so that's it. See you soon. Bye bye. So they went about their tasks of exploration. Aliens on a distant world. And, strangely enough, they looked as if they belonged.